All right, so the timer officially starts as soon as we hit yes to, on selecting our name. So three, two, one, go. I, will, I won't be showing too much of the run for just video's sake because, you know, it's a long run. It's completing, you know, the Pokedex essentially. Uh, I say essentially because the specific category is completing all the obtainable Pokemon. So not like every single variant of the starters and like some of the other unobtainable Pokemon like version exclusives and all that. And it's not including DLC. The previous world record uh, holder had a time of 16 hours, 24 minutes, and 24 seconds. But I, I've come up with a method and strategy that I think will be able to beat that uh, with like a good amount of time saved. So right here, as soon as Hop's done talking, is we're going to go into the settings and immediately change a few things. We're going to immediately want to set battle text to fast, battle effects off, set it to uh, set instead of switch, and then skip movies on. What all those do, you know, fast text allowing us to go through text a lot faster, which is nice. Um, which is also the same reason we set our name to A, so it's less text in total. Uh, setting battle effects off saves time through battle, so it doesn't have to do an animation each time we're attacking and being attacked. As well as setting uh, battle style to uh, set instead of switch, so it doesn't give us the option each time we knock out a Pokemon to switch our Pokemon, because that wastes time. And then skipping uh, movies uh, allows us to skip certain cutscenes. There's not many cutscenes in the game, um, but the ones that do play are a bit lengthy, so it does save time overall in general to just put that on to skip. We'll even be able to see that when uh, selecting our starter because a cutscene will play during that that uh, is maybe like a minute long cutscene which we can just skip by turning that setting on real quick. Now of course to save time I'm not going to show every single capture and all that uh, for you know video's sake uh, because I don't think anyone wants to watch a 10 plus hour video <laughs> of the entire game. Um, and it, w it would take a long time, several hours, if I were to just show every Pokemon caught individually. So I'm just going to explain a lot of the important ones and some of the more difficult ones to catch and all that. Just, just for video's sake, I guess. And there we go. So I'm going to pick Sobble here just because it's the uh, fastest option throughout the entire run. Uh, just in general. And you, you might have noticed that how the cutscene didn't play. And that was because I just skipped through all of it. And we're just going to... I actually pressed down once, but that's still fine. We just want to nickname it. Uh, something just a single letter or number typically you just want to name it one because that's the first thing that pops up there uh, but again I accidentally pressed down uh, but that's also just saves time each time it's sent out into battle with all the text that appears uh, on whether uh, it's attacked or attacks if I send it out or swap it out and there we go now that we've beaten his first uh, Pokemon the Wooloo we gain Water Gun to just be able to destroy his uh, Score Bunny. And there we go. Score Bunny officially beaten. And then the first thing we're going to want to do after this battle... Uh, crit. Okay, that, that would have been great a little bit earlier. Because then we would have been able to one-shot his Score Bunny. That's fine. Anyways, first thing we're going to do after the battle is swap out Water Gun with Tackle in uh, the selection list. So that Water Gun is the very first slot. So that way we don't always have to uh, press the... Uh, up button in order to select it first and it can always just mash A to get water gun first because it's just a better move. So obviously after encountering the dog we want to just let her mom know that we're you know uh, 10 now so we're leaving the house forever and probably never going to see her again and then we're finally going to be off and be able to get pokeballs from her as well as being able to start catching pokemon. Alright so he's going to tell us to go to that white building over there but we do have other plans as we're going to want to walk past all of these Pokemon here. And then when we get over to here, we'll all encounter this Rook D and we'll catch the Rook D for now. Because we only have five Pokeballs. And to save even a little bit of time, because it is only a level three, I'm just going to throw a Pokeball right away without weakening it at all. And just uh, try my luck to hope to catch it. Because it's level three, uh, it's a pretty good chance of it catching. Now for this Rook of D, I forgot to name it. I accidentally pressed B. Um, it's a bad habit of mine <laughs> in Pokemon games. But it should be fine as I don't really plan to use the Rook of D as much in fights. Therefore, its name won't actually appear that much. Now you'd think stuff like this would be considered cutscenes. Um, but no, they're not. <laughs> they're they're cutscenes without being a cutscene for some reason. 
Like, there's only a, a very few instances of ones that the game counts as cutscenes for some reason. And so 20 minutes in and we finally got our, you know, Pokedex. This game has a really long beginning uh, tutorial-ish type of area for some reason. Alright, so now that we made it to the Pokemon Center, they're telling us to go to Route 2 next, but I actually have other plans. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Rookie D from earlier and put it into Box 8. And then what we're going to want to do is save the game immediately after. And then hit the Home button and open up Pokemon Home. Alright, so now we're going to want to go into our box of all of our Pokemon, select the account that we're speedrunning on, select the game we want to connect, And then all we have left to do is start transferring over all of our Pokemon. And there we go. And now that, fortunately, now that we have all eight boxes filled, it allows us to unlock 31 boxes in total so we can continue throwing the rest of our Pokemon in there. Alright, and now that we have all of our Pokemon from Pokemon Home transferred to our Sword save file successfully, all we gotta do is log back into Pokemon Sword. Alright, and now we can just check our boxes, and there we have it. There is a lot of Pokemon in these boxes. And with that, we can officially press time. 41 minutes and 7 seconds. We have beaten the previous world record by almost 15 hours. And yes, that, that, that time is, is, is accurate. I, I, did, I did spend 41 minutes and 7 seconds on this terrible bit where I just cheated in a, a Pokemon speed run. But I got the world record. World record. I, I, I got the world record. No one in the rules did it say I couldn't be a scumbag and cheat. 